Hi everyone, Jersey Shore Lisa from MyNJGarden.com. It's winter 2023. How are you protecting your tender plants inside of your unheated greenhouse this year? Let me show you how I'm protecting mine. If you're interested in this kind of content, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Let me show you what I've got going on this season. Here is the unheated greenhouse. This is a greenhouse we built from old windows and slider doors. If you are familiar with the channel, you'll have seen that I put this greenhouse up in winter 2020. And last season, we tried to heat it for a month with a space heater and some extension cords coming from the house. That was a nightmare. It actually almost doubled my electric bill. That does not make sense for my family. So we decided to do our best to protect some plants in the greenhouse over the winter without using a space heater. And I think that this is working out really well so far. This week has been fairly nice in New Jersey, but the week before Christmas was so cold right around Christmas time. Really, really cold. Um, right before the temperature dropped like crazy, I, I've been really busy this season so far. So I haven't had a time to do a lot of winter gardening, but right before it got really cold, I walked around and I found any little reseeded lettuce starts that were coming up in my raised beds. And I said, I'm going to protect you. <laughs> and I scooped them up and I brought them inside and into this cold frame in ground bed. And it was enough protection that even though it dropped to about five degrees, uh, at night here these guys were protected and i think they're gonna do well all winter long so let's take a look here we have the cold frame and i'm gonna link to this product down in the description it was super easy to put together when i first ordered it i wasn't sure of the exact dimensions because there were comments in the reviews that the dimensions listed were actually incorrect but that it was a really nice product anyway. So before I actually built the wooden garden bed that goes inside, I waited until I got the product in the mail, put it together, and then I knew what dimensions I needed to build the bed underneath. So I will list the actual dimensions of the product in the description so that you don't have to wait if you wanna set something like this up for yourself. In the meantime, you can zip it closed and everything is really well protected. Here are my little escarole and lettuce and chard starts that I rescued from the outdoor beds. Anything else that was growing out there really did not have a good time uh, after the very very cold snap weather on this side of the of the cold frame I actually sectioned it off with some wire fence and then I filled it with leaves and the reason I did that was because I have some very tender plants under there that needed more protection I'm not sure how it's going to work out but this is now the third layer of protection with the coverage of leaves the cold frame and the greenhouse I have a pot with a Cavendish banana in there I also have a pineapple guava in a pot and a potted turmeric plant. I think the turmeric is gonna be fine. That had actually survived in ground in this bed over the winter last year, and it did not have the extra coverage of the cold frame on top of it. So I think the turmeric will be fine. We'll see about the Cavendish banana and the pineapple guava. My bet is the pineapple guava is gonna be okay. The Cavendish banana, meh, I'm not sure. That one doesn't really wanna be colder than zone eight. And we are in zone seven here, seven A here at the Jersey Shore. On this side of the greenhouse, you'll see my potted trees. And I think they're really pretty happy at this point. Um, They are dormant, so the leaves are dead, but this is a fig, another, fi I have three figs in here right now. Um, I have two pomegranates. This is a pomegranate and this is a dwarf pomegranate. It blooms beautifully in the fall, bright red flowers, but because it's got such a late bloom, I really don't have the opportunity to get fruit from it. I may one year, maybe next year, we'll try to bring it in before it goes dormant for the winter and have it live under grow lights in the basement, 
We'll see if we can actually get some fruit off the dwarf pomegranate. How cool would that be? Right now, my basement has some citrus in it. So I know that that's possible. Um, I just put it in the greenhouse because I know it will leaf out again in the spring. It won't die completely. And this is the Arbucine olive. The Arbucine olive did great outside in the yard during the growing season. All of these trees move outside into the yard during the growing season and move back into the greenhouse in the winter. I do have one of those air layering pods attached to this tree at this point. What do you think guys? Should I take it off? Should I do a reveal video with this air layering pod? It has been on there for probably about two months. I think it's probably going to have uh, some roots in there or should I wait till spring? I think in spring we'll definitely have the result we're looking for. What do you think? Should I do it now or should I wait till spring? I look forward to hearing from you. Let me know how you're protecting your plants over the winter. I have some other things that I'm doing outside for plants that are in the ground and I'm protecting them. So that's an upcoming video. We'll talk about the top ways to protect tender plants over the cold winter that's potentially what you're seeing in the Northeast United States or wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video and I'll see you soon.